Hey, welcome back to another episode of Simple Truth Television. Today is December 7th, 2020. I want to talk about a rapper, another rapper, that was shot and killed in Newark, New Jersey on November 27th. His name was uh, Triple Beans. I'm going to show you guys, you know, what a ritual this was and you know just further prove what we've been talking about for the past year and a half here that most of the rappers that die in the headlines they die in connection to the same numbers you know 38 44 and so on so so shout out to everybody who joined us and um let's get started So, this rapper, his name is Triple Beans, says here that he was shot and killed in broad daylight. Broad daylight in New Jersey. So, he was 29 years old, and it says here in the uh, reporting that authorities in New Jersey are investigating the senseless shooting death of rising rapper Triple Beans. It's been reported that last Friday, November 27th, Triple Beans, real name Corey Thompson, was in Newark when he was gunned down in broad daylight. The rapper was a, was around the 300 block of Avon Avenue in the bustling city when Beans is seen in surveillance footage walking or, walking toward his parked car. Suddenly, two masked men jumped out of an SUV, walked across the street, and opened fire on the unsuspecting 29-year-old. Man, these people get bolder and bolder. I mean, they shot this guy in broad daylight. You know, really doesn't matter, I guess, to these people because it's. The people who are probably committing these murders, they probably are the authority. So, I don't think they mind shooting somebody in broad daylight. But, um, according to the reports, he died November 27th. That's the day leaving 34 days left in the year. Of course, murder, rapper, 34. So many rituals around the number 34 and rappers. Right? We just had Casanova, who's 34, year, who's 34 years old. The rapper from Brooklyn, you know, he he just got, well, he got charged with some fe bad federal charges, really bad federal charges. He's facing 10, anywhere from 10 to life in prison if he gets convicted for the crimes that he's been charged for. But um, Casanova, you know, not only is he 34 years old, but um, the day of his arrest, he came on the 38th day of his age. Notice he was born October 27th, and he turned himself in on December 3rd, the 38th day of his age. And, of course, 38 is a number that we always talk about because rapper equals 38 and 34. So he was 34, and he got arrested on the 38th day of his age. And he, his most popular song is called Don't Run, which also equals 38 and 34. So this pattern with 38 and 34, we always see this when it comes to rappers all the time. And... Here we have it again with Triple Beans. He was killed on the day leaving 34 days left in the year. As for the 38, in his case, and I don't, I'm not too confident that this is this is connected, but I do find it very, very ironic that, you know, there's another Philadelphia rapper who goes by Beanie Siegel, and he also refers to himself as Beans. Not sure if you guys remember this rapper. He was signed to Jay-Z's record label, Rockefeller. And, you know, his stage name is Beanie Siegel. But they also know, call him Beans. And this rapper that died on November 27th, his name is Triple Beans. And I'm pretty sure there's a connection between these two rappers. Because not only is Beanie Siegel 46 years old, but um, notice from March 6th to the day that um Triple Beans was killed. Triple Beans died 38 weeks after Beanie Siegel's birthday. 38 weeks on the nose? 38? Of course, Rapper is 38. Murder, Death, Killing, R.I.P., all 38. We always see those two numbers come together, 38 and 34, when it comes to rappers. So this guy dies 38 weeks after Beanie Siegel's birthday on a day leaving 34 days left in the year, 38 and 34. Again, I'm not too sure that those two things are connected, but I don't think that's a coincidence, him dying 38 weeks after the other rapper who calls himself Beans. 
his birthday. I don't think that's a coincidence. But um, this rapper here, Triple Beans, he was born Corey Thompson. And I looked on his social media. He was born September 7th. I guess he was born in 91 because he was 29 when he passed. So he was born September 7th, 1991. And from his last birthday to the day that he died, on November 27th, he died 81 days after his birthday. The word ritual, forwards and backwards, equals 81. I read into this guy's story, and um, it seems that he's connected to another New Jersey rapper known as Fetty Wap, who is a much more popular superstar rapper than Triple Beans. I never heard of Triple Beans before, but I definitely heard of Fetty Wap. And it looks like these two rappers have worked together, so... And if you read the reporting, they even bring up Freddie Wops' name. And, you know, whenever they bring up another rapper's name, it's probably because the ritual is somehow connected to this rapper. Notice he was born on 6-7, blood sacrifice equals 67. And he's also 29, just like this rapper, Triple Beans. But um, from November 27th, the day that Triple Beans was killed, to Freddie Wops' 30th birthday... Triple Beans was killed 193 days before Fetty Wops' birthday. And that's the 44th prime number. Another number that we always talk about here. Like I said in the beginning of the video. Always talk about 38 and 44 when it comes to rappers. Mainly because a lot of the rappers that I, that I cover, they're always being shot for some reason. right? Think about Biggie Smalls, Tupac Shakur, Nipsey Hussle, so many others. Stack bundles, Ching's drugs. You know, we just had King Vaughn who was shot and killed. We also had Mo Three who was shot and killed. Pop Smoke earlier this year. Rappers they usually go out by, by the gun. But um, yeah. So we always talk about forty four because of the word shooting. It equals forty four, just like execution, just like the word kill. You know, that's also a number that shows up throughout black history. Right? MLK died on a day. MLK died on a day with, well, Malcolm X died on a day with 44 numerology. MLK died on April 4th, 4-4. And there's a lot more to that, right? Obama, the 44th president, he ran on hope. Hope is 44. The person that killed Malcolm X got 44 years in prison. His name was Thomas Hagen, which equals 44. So this number is, is always showing up throughout black history. Even think about Marvin Gaye, who was who was killed a day before his 45th birthday at the age of 44. Marvin Gaye died at the age of 44. He, he was going to turn 45 the next day. But he was killed one day before his birthday at the age of 44. So, you know, we've seen this number all the time. Earlier this year, there was another rapper. His name was KJ Baller from Brooklyn. He died... 44 weeks after his birthday. 44. And it's probably because of this. You know, shooting is 44. Execution is 44. The word kills 44. And um, what's interesting about the number 44 is that when you write out the number 44, notice, again, you know, execution, kill, 44. But when you write out 44 as a word, it sums to 144 and notice how triple beans sums to 144, right? He died 193 days before Fetty Wops' birthday, the 44th prom, in a shooting. And um, these are the images here. Supposedly, these two gentlemen here, they hopped out of this vehicle here, which looks like a police car to me. But they jumped out this vehicle, and while Triple Beans was getting in, in inside of his SUV, a Range Rover, they just opened fire on him, and they made sure they got him really good. You know, these look like. I mean, look how look how this guy is holding the gun. I mean, that looks like well, that's how police officers shoot the gun. You know, you know, usually we see gangsters shoot guns like this. You know, with one hand. Leaning to the side, you know, trying to be you know, a lot of a lot of gangsters don't know how to shoot a gun. But if you look at this guy here, he's shooting that gun like a police officer. He's holding it with two hands. He makes sure he pointed it straight at the victim. So these are professional killers here. 
This is not no random shooting. These people know what they're doing. Look at this guy. He's holding the gun like a soldier. Like somebody has been trained to shoot, you know. But this is the images of the alleged shooting. And um, yeah, all this happens in broad daylight, you know. No witnesses, nobody saw anything. Strange stuff, but um, what's undeniable is the numbers, because they always leave the same numbers behind. Always the same numbers. These serial killers leaving their stand behind every single time. But um, like I said, you know, I don't think this is a coincidence that the other beans in the rap game, who's forty six years old. This rapper just happens to die 38 weeks after his birthday. And notice how Beans was born March 6th. That's a day written 6 slash 3 as well in the majority of the world. If you write out triple Beans in Gematria, no, it's some sort of 144 in the alphabetic order. But um, in the in the cipher with the, we apply the rules of numerology, triple Beans equals 63. So I'm thinking like this is probably a ritual sacrifice for the rapper Beanie Siegel. Because of course the word sacrifice is 46. Beanie Siegel is 46 years old. Triple Beans equals 63. Beanie Siegel born on uh, on 6 slash 3. Notice he was born in the year 74. Rapper 74. And then the rapper Triple Beans. He was killed 38 weeks after Beanie Siegel's his birthday. And rapper is also 38. This is a lot of coincidences, but um, I think that uh, I think we found something here. There's definitely a connection with Beanie Siegel and Triple Beans. There's definitely a connection with Freddie Wap. I mean, the 193 to 44 prime that never fails, right? We talk about we spoke about Stack Bundles, who was also gunned down, right? Stack Bundles is named some to 193, the 44 prime number. Another victim, another victim to a shooting, and so many others. You know, speaking about thirty eight, you know, Pop Smoke who died this year. His name is thirty eight and thirty four. Remember those two numbers? They love to bring them together. You know, Triple Beans he died on the day leaving thirty four days left in the year, thirty eight weeks after Beanie Siegel's birthday. Casanova was arrested on the thirty eighth day of being thirty four. And, um, yeah, so, rapper, 38 and 34. Notice it's 74, right? Beating Siegel, born in 1974. So, this is another one. A lot of rappers this year. Um, last but not least, and I've mentioned this a couple of times before, I'm putting together this book. I titled it Gematria Murder. Because the word Gematria is 38, Murder is 38, and I'm planning to release this book on February 7th, the 38th day of the year. Not because I'm trying to do it by the numbers, but um, just because, you know, I'm going to be covering murders in this book. And 38 is the number I'm going to be speaking about the most here in this book. I think, not to exaggerate, but 90% of the cases that I cover in this book are uh, rituals involving the number 38. So 38 is a very important number to ritual sacrifices. So why not make the book 38 chapters as well, you know? I'm shooting for 38 chapters. It might be more than that because, you know, the year's not even over yet and there's still people dying. A lot of big names still dying. Like, you know, the rapper King Vaughn who just died who I have to put in my book the rapper Mo3 and all these other rappers that die, you know, it's a lot of people want to know about the rappers, so I gotta put them in there. But um I don't know how I don't know I don't know too many gangsters that are gonna shoot a gun with two hands like that. I don't know. Strange. But I'll leave it there. Well, yeah, I mean, think about it. The song Murder by Numbers is by the police, the band of police. So who knows who's behind all this? 
So thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. And um, just want to say rest in peace to Triple Beans and all the other fallen rappers this year. It's been a lot of them. But um, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys next time.